Hey there guys, this is Space 313 with the continuation of the Dangan Robot Trigger Happy Havoc Let's Play. Last time we left off, we were in a trash chute. Literally. So, it's interesting to see how far that would be continued forth. So, let's continue on forth through that. The Ultimate Despair. A group of people who caused a tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. Oh my god, I'm getting SAO. <laughs> For some reason, I'm getting like S SAO vibes all of a sudden. <clears throat> the most de de desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. Alright, but right now. Anyway. Okay, so I really need to differentiate between Kyoko's voice and Makoto, if possible. <clears throat> so, stern, light voice. Right now, we have to get out of this horrible place. Figure out the rest of the story can- Figure out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. Alright, so, let's get the fuck out of here. We need a key, and you had the key to unlock every single door, right? It's locked, but we have a way to open this door. Alright, lead the way, Kyoko. Kyoko, do you still have the one thing? Do you still have that one thing? Oh my god. I feel like Makoto's voice is somehow lighter than Kyoko from the last time I played, but whatever. Okay. Monokuma's secret tool. That's you. Ah, sorry. Let me try that again. Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the ma uh, headmaster's room. Mm -hmm. Of course I do. It's an absolute vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. And it can open any door in the school, right? That's right. That's right. Then we should be able to use it in order to use it on that door, right? Okay. Once that's examined. Hey, Kyoko, we could use that key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it and slid into the keyhole. And then... Click. Yes, it opened. Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. All right, we quickly opened the uh, opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Time to get the fuck out of here. Finally, we are finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief because the real fight had just begun. On to chapter 6, Ultimate Pain, Ultimate Suffering, Ultimate Despair, Ultimate Execution, and Ultimate Death. Oh joy, there's like how many ultimates there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Was that 5 or 6? If it's 6 because it's correlating to 6 people that are surviving, I, I wonder what correlates to which. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunneling, extending straight up like a chimney. Did I just say a chimney? <laughs> uh, chimney, yeah, okay. There was a metal ladder leading up to the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no upskirt shot. Oh, well. Okay. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it's low, where it ended. We climbed into the darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were so far hey. down. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. I figured you'd be stronger enough to, like, carry me over or something. Uh, yeah, I'll be careful. I mean, that is kind of the reason why I'm going in first, right? So that I don't, like, die when I fall down or anything. Because, like, unless, like, you're able to catch me with your foot, it's kind of difficult for you to catch me when I'm below you. Uh, also, also the, there's also the upskirt thing, too. Which, okay, whatever. <gasps> but, now that you, but now that you said it, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off of it. Um, so, Kyoko, there's something I wanted to tell you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So, how long have you been detective wor doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered... A sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. 
Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... Right. Because we take pride in it. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither... Uh, neither... Uh, a detective is neither light nor shadow. We present ni neither justice nor evil. This is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things. And to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of an old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But our family's, but it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. So that explains... Before I came here, when was oh, before I came here, when was looking up info about the when wait when was looking up info about the school online? I never saw anything about when I forgot. I think there's a f I missing there in that sentence. Uh, creators, you kind of fucked up on the translation there because she hid herself on per uh, because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However, and yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride, the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak, it was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect? I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But, but you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However, there is something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? The last time I saw him, this is quite a long ladder. This is like, Snake Eater! And the background music just like, as we're talking or something. I don't know. Uh, oh, wow, well, I'm missing a Kirigiri's end. Uh, fuck, what's this bitch name again? Oh, shit, I forgot his name. Whatever, okay. I was still very young, so I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in the line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented. He had a promising future. However, but he had no interest in detective work. So, he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather, and they had a huge argument. And young as I was, he left me behind. That was actually pretty good voice acting despite all my, like... Like, I was able to be consistent, surprisingly, even though I was sight reading that. Okay, so Naegi Makoto is his name. I I'm not sure there was a... Re Fuck, and now I'm messing up with his line. Fuck you, Makoto. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name, so every last part of me is happy. He didn't take me with him. Oh, okay, that was not a Shit, okay, I messed up that line. Shit, oops, sorry. If I'd gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't be able to see her expression. So I couldn't tell. I can't see how she looked when she said that. What she might have been feeling? All I could tell was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative and more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However... But there is one thing. One thing that I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. 
I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However, but when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that abandoned her father. That was abandoned by her father. Sorry about that. That's how they see me, even to this day. I... His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Yeah. That's why I had to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past, in order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But, but, your family, to just cut him out like that. Wrong. You know, dads and mothers could still be pricks sometimes, you know that? <laughs> like, no matter, like, family or not, if they're a dick to you, they're a dick to you. So, yeah, if they're like that much of a dick and they have no sympathy or sorrow for your misery, fuck them. <laughs> I think, thank God my parents are never like that, though. But seriously, if I have any family members that are just so conniving and evil, fuck them. Fuck them so much. I would call them out on their bullshit. Our only connect- Oh, shit. God damn it. That's Moko Mokoto. Makoto's voice. Eh, okay. Our only connection is through blood. Nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? I mean, there are also adoptive stuffs too, so like, even if you're not blood related, you can still be family regardless, right? Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that, I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. There is some truth into her words after all, I mean, I could definitely attest to that. I mean, not attest to that, agree to that. Uh, I really need to, I really need to like... Stop pretending that I know specific words when in actuality, I just assume that they're the similar words to, to another word. I'm assuming a test means, like, something else, but, like, in a similar means of, uh, like, confirm or whatever. Um, I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Snake eater burner dun dun! Finally, Jesus Christ. Okay. This looks, uh, very worn out. Jesus Christ, so we're in... We climbed up a whole shit ton of ladders. So are we, like, underground or something? Holy shit. That's probably why the entire area is, like, bolted or something. Ooh, excuse me. At least I'm assuming. Looks like this is it. Indeed. On the other side of this door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back. That's right. Remember, that hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reached my right hand up and pushed against the hatch. Are we just gonna leave the uh, other four behind, by the way? <laughs> the hatch opened with ease, and so... This is the garb- Oh, wait, oh, never mind. This is still Hope Speak Okay, I assume that for some reason Hope Speak Academy itself was, like, bolted shut. And we're like underground or something. Like, there's like a floor below the actual Hope's Peak Academy. But, okay. Looks like we're back. But I can't remember how long the ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't say exactly. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back to Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I never would. No. Kyoko, thank you. I never would have gone out if there wasn't for you. No thanks necessarily. I'm just I was just returning the favor. Alright. What's this returning the fit oops? What's this returning the favor business? So now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the headmaster finds out. And I'm worried about you too. You helped me, so they might Listen. You're worried. Yeah, of course! So then. then let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? In other words. Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's However. If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we find out. And it's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. 
So you're saying, rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared. You said something like that before. What does it mean? So... The mastermind stood exposing during the investigation into Makuro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was? Right. If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for us if we go to uh, to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. I'm still a little... No. Super uneasy about this. But we don't really have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. Okay... Yeah. In the gym we go with the surveillance camera. Can we see like all the other people beforehand? Uh, that are still alive at least. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> a hero. What's up? I made it back, bitch! Shall we, go? we need to get to the- Okay, fine. Shit. No more greeting other people, I guess. Uh, wait, what am I doing? There's a fast travel system. <laughs> Alright, so, to the gym, which should be on the second floor. There it is. What the fuck's gonna happen this time? Let's go. Well now, well now, well now, well now. <laughs> okay. Oh joy, trying to voice freaking Monokuma. It's gonna be a very strange in my voice. Luckily, I have orange juice and water to help me. I'm not sure if orange juice helps actually. But apple juice helps, and I'm just, I'm just going by the assumption that fruit juices usually help my throat. So let's go for that. <clears throat> Kyoko! I don't mind so much. But my coat is supposed to be dead! What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he react. Are we going to be okay? You are supposed to be punished! Did Kyoko help you? So what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate that is a truth, uh, the rule. So now I'm gonna punish you again, and this time, I won't leave anything to chance. K Kyoko, do whatever you feel like you have to. What? But before you do, let me just say one thing. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that it matters to you, right? Huh? I lose? You! Explain yourself! What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up this latest... Uh, uh, you s well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting... I was getting in your way, so you want an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as the Black Hen and then executed, right? <laughs> hey! What are you talking about? However... But when Koda chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. Because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the Blackened and tried to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Alter Ego. You never imagined the possibility of being that... Wow, I'm, I need to stop, slow down there. You never imagined the possibility of being that could come to our aid even after you killed it. Am I wrong? Ugh, excuse me. Now, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Makuro. You did. Listen to me. So executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Black End is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's why you told us, right? Hmm. And that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the Black End is me and not Makoto? Well... And you can prove this, right? Well... No, I can't. Don't just say it like that! What is this, a comedy routine? To make such a bold claim without a shred of evidence? That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now, but 
With a little more time, I can guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there's only ever one absolute truth. And now you're talking. Yeah, you're trying to talk like some kind of. Oh goddamn! Please tell me someone's home. <laughs> uh, if only I could like mute the phone ringing. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. I think I hear footsteps, so I'm guessing someone's home. All right. Anyways, and now and now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type. Because. And Makoto really was the killer. He would never have come to you willingly like that. Uh, yeah, willingly like this. He would have feared for his life. Feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you so love to inspire. However, but here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Oh! Because it's a TV show, right? Kyoko, is that true? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. Hey. Of course, you could say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If you want to earn our despair, fair and square, what we have to do. then I suggest you take my advice. Sal, what is this advice of yours? It's true. To do Makoro's trial over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Oh joy, another trial. <laughs> hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial. One last showdown. In other words, this would be our chance to expose, yeah, expose the true identity of Makuro's killer and the Mastermind themselves. But what reason would the Mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> interesting. Barrett. Very interesting indeed. Barry? <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. So time for bear jokes. Now, what you've suggested might be possible, but it would certainly make for one honey of a climax. In other words, does that mean you accept? You guys. If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your terms. <laughs> will you? Will your hope win out? Or will my despair claim victory? I despair, I just... <laughs> Let's have one final grisly showdown. He agreed. Then we still have a shot at this. But this is the long-awaited climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting end. You got so for this final face-off, you have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? <laughs> that's right. Every last mystery that's potting around the school. If you can do that, can then that'll be enough myself. to qualif quali qual uh, qualify. Oh my God! Qual God damn it! As a victory for you. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. Okay, well, good. Then let's bear it all. You can claw your way to the truth to Makuro's death and solve the mystery of the school. You then you win. <laughs> but if you can't do all of that, we'll all face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we've uncovered every last truth, how would the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this has all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I wanted to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that for sure. So what? Hey. I just want to confirm that is what you're saying, right? And it's a true statement? <laughs> 
You don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations, and having a trial for Makuro is no exception to that. Huh? Makuro's trial is no exception? Then it's part of the regulations? Which would have to mean that whoever killed Makuro... <laughs> yeah, it's a very polarizing approach, I know. But okay, enough puns anyways. Here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began... Are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why do you go quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> now I'm really angry! I'm done talking! I got nothing left for saying you! So I got a lot, Fuzia! Yeah. Why so mad? He seems un uh, emotionally unstable. Hey. Leave me alone! Get out of here! You're okay, I'm going. I just. You're really gonna let me go? <laughs> I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later, anyways. I needed to get started to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair! Hey. Come on, Makoto, let's go. Oh, joy. Monokuma's unstable laughter seems to cling to us as we walk away. And just like that, we're out of the gym. How the hell do we know if it's nighttime or something? Jesus. I mean, we can tell, like, from the top left-hand corner, but, like, from the visual... From visual, is there, like, an in-game clock or something? I don't know. I can barely believe it, but... Somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life. We still had a chance. Overall, things turned way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's dad. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of However, you. Don't think me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, sure. <sighs> but still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. B but honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of that one moment that the mastermind let down their guard, like I said. So, when it was that the mastermind let their guard down? So... I wasn't, I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the mastermind said? They said that they hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school live to the outside world, right? Y yeah, they definitely said that. Listen. And what did you think, and what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly- God damn, I need a lot of water. Jesus Christ, you guys have plenty of fucking dialogue. Uh, how do I fucking open this? There we go. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However... And yet somehow the mastermind was able to do it. In other words. But think of it another way. There must be some reason they had to do something that difficult. The reason? So they had to show the world something, no matter the cost us killing each other. They wanted to show the world? It would seem The Mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designated to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations shouldn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words. So, the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? Hey. The outside world has a name for students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope, right? That's right. And for those of us who represent hope, to kill each other and to sink into despair, the mastermind wants the world to see that, to try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal, as the ultimate despair. What? 
mean, what's proof that despair is better than hope? But that's... that's ridiculous. It's true. You're right. It is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despairs would devise. That group, though... That group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair... But is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? Makoto. I know how angry it must make you, and yet... That same motivation is what led the Mastermind to reveal their weakness. What? In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The Mastermind has had to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. If their Mastermind is simply ignored simply ignored the rules, there wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least. At least. That's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the Mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves? Indeed. That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of their regulations. Ju Junko broke the rules, so she was punished. But in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Okay, so I- who the hell is she again? Because <laughs> I have no recollection of her whatsoever. So instead, they tried to use the class trial, followed all the proper rules, to get me killed. They, yeah, they began a trial that didn't have an answer. They made me out to be a killer. But even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the mastermind had to accept your suggestion? Indeed. To prove that the world that despair is better than hope, they had to defeat us in perfect form. In other words... It would only do the mastermind harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. But all of that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the mastermind to accept your challenge? However. Well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance, because you believed in me. Another pap opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of the mastermind's thoughts and plans we were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. <sighs> but it looks like I got it right. This time, at least. I won the bet. She let out a quick sigh. I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I can total I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seem totally confident from the moment we decided to talk to him. <laughs> well, presenting a star uh, yeah, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I'd show any, if I showed my uneasiness, that would have just made that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However... Anyway, we can't just relax yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. We can't let the Mastermind... We can't defeat... If we can't defeat the Mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no option except to win. Hey. But before we begin to find a battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but... Now we're, we know who the, our real enemy is, all I have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the mastermind. Work together with everyone. However, Is that really possible? Huh? Anyway. Anyway, right now, we have to go find the Shall others. We go? They're probably in their dorm somewhere. Shall we go? Alright. Time to go door to door introducing everyone that I'm alive and that I'm totally not breaking any rules whatsoever. Okay. So, this is the dormitory. Uh, there we go. Guessing we knock on every one singular door. Alright, I'm trying to remember who's alive now. Uh, he's dead. Oh, she's alive! Come on, Kyoko! We is there some reason you would let me s Come on, we need- okay. Uh, oh, I'm alive! <laughs> back up, back in there, okay. Uh, Mondo's dead. Byakuya, he's definitely not dead yet. This Byakuya, is he inside? Hey. 
I don't think he's here. Come on, we need to keep looking. Alright. Saika, I don't, actually don't know who she is either. I'm assuming she's dead. Junko, that was the girl that was mentioned before. Uh, I don't want to, but uh, fine. This is Toko's room. Is she inside? Hey. I don't think she's here. Come on, we need to keep looking. Jesus Christ. Okay, where the fuck is everyone then? Chihiro, she's definitely dead. He's definitely dead. Les is dead. Which I still need to fix that copyright thing. Aoi, what about you? This is Hina's room. Is she inside? Hey. Is anyone fucking home? Jesus Christ. Okay, what about Leon is dead? Yasuhiro, what about you? This is Hiro's room. Is he inside? Hey. Okay, I think that's everyone that's alive, right? At least from memory. Okay, so if everyone's not in their own rooms, where the fuck are they then? Wait, what? Oh, that's her. Never mind. Alright, let me see if there's like an exclamation mark somewhere. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Right, right. The top floors are inaccessible during nighttime. So, what about this area? That's my last guess as to where everyone is, if no one else is. And suddenly, we agreed with. <laughs> you again? I should have done this. One, oh, three point two point one point two five five. Is that like a binary code? Uh, no, sorry, not a binary code. An eight, uh, a bit system. Is he broken? I suppose him emotionally unstable reached its limit. Ash got some Senex got a sixty one. Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that was all about. I can't help but let out a sigh of relief. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, hey guys. Makoto? You guys. It is. There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto. Huh? You s survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach. You know? <laughs> Good to see you back there, Bayo. I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not <laughs> a ghost, right? <laughs> That's a yes. How the fuck is he still alive after all these times? Like Jesus Christ, he should be the first one dead logistically. <laughs> Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. <laughs> I just want to what? cry. Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. <laughs> Gee, thanks, guys. It's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. <laughs> Get away, shoo shoo. And in a flash, my tears dried up. Damn it. <laughs> okay, everyone, I'm back and I'm alive, and we have a trial to do. There's no time to induce and then extend a happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain. Explain what? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure why I keep talking and then like this sarcastic. It's a more serious tone than like a very performative evil kind of or whatever. Okay. Uh, but it's okay that you're here. What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. It's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Fuck. Uh, I, I, I try to make her voice not say the same as Makoto, but it's a little bit hard. Okay. Last class trial? In other words. We're going to redo Makuru's trial. Huh? Huh? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, didn't it? Right? No. I did not. No. I didn't do it. Like I keep telling you. Oh. Makoto isn't the killer. And of course, it's not me or any of you. Hmm? Th then, who is it? Why the fuck did I give her a stoner's voice? I see. What she's saying is, it was all the work of the mastermind. Hmm? Huh? You're saying the mastermind killed Makuro? That's right. That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and what and did what he had to stop it. However, 
but his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What did you say? You spotted the trap, didn't you, Makoto? You made it sound like it was easy, I just, you know. However... But executing Makoto, who wasn't the Blacken, is a clear violation of the school regulation. The rule states that only the Blacken is to be executed. The mastermind broke their own rule. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Which is why I went to negotiate with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And the mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? <laughs> they had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean! Hey, uh, I'm totally in the dark here! <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. <laughs> So knowing all th this, what do we do now? It's all about killing Makuro. Uh, it's all about who killed Makuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind. Hmm. But there's one more. There's more to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Huh? Every last mystery? But, but we've been looking all over around all this time. And we still don't know anything, right? Anyway. You've probably guessed already. But if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh. <laughs> everyone? <laughs> hey, who said you could agree to th th those terms without talking to the rest of us? Yeah. I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine with living here forever with my master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. Anyway. At this point, that the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. Hmm. Interesting. In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I would say, and I forgot to fucking... Oh. I forgot... Wow, this has been a long recording session. I forgot the fucking... God damn it. I've got the stopwatch. So, sorry about that. We'll be right quickly right back for the next episode of Danganronpa, so stay tuned for that. <laughs>